What's up guys and welcome to day 14, yes day 14 of November. Um, now today we shall be doing a review. Um, now me and Matt did have something planned for this morning, um, but I, th I think he might still be asleep. So what we'll do is we'll reschedule that idea and we'll do it probably next week or the week that I'm off. So we haven't got a time stock so I work nights so I'll be going to bed soon so I want to get it done as early as possible for normal people who sleep during the night you know they'll probably have a line in the mornings and so yeah but we'll get it it's a good idea um, and we'll get it done when we can both arrange a suitable time for each other um, now as you guys know I pick up my subscription on a monthly basis, so this is probably an old comic, it's probably been reviewed like weeks ago, um, but I want to give you my, my opinion on it, um, and I'm going to try and, I'm not going to do major spoilers, but there might be a little bit of spoilers, um, and it is Superior Spider-Man number 20. Um, now, as you guys know, um, sorry that iPad's going a bit funny. As you guys know or may not know, um, Superior Spider-Man for me has been very hit and miss. Um, and I think if it wasn't the fact, if it wasn't for the fact that it was a Spidey comic, I probably would have dropped it a long time ago. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. There's been some amazing issues in the Superior Spider-Man um, line. Oh, the iPad is peeing me off now. Um, but there's also been a few flops. Um, I, I can't name some off the top of me, but there, there have been a few flops. The Ultimate Universe, you know, the Ultimate Spider-Man series, I've, I've only collected them in trade, but there hasn't been a bad trade. And it's, you know, it's like um, I'm comparing Disneyland Paris to Disney World. Um... Disney World is always going to be better. Um, and that's where it's like. Ultimate Spider-Man is always going to be my favourite. No matter whether it's Amazing Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, Peter Parker of Spider-Man, and all the others. I can't remember them all, to be honest with you. But yeah, let's, let's talk about this issue. Um, now, I ordered this variant because... <sighs> do I need to give a reason? The... the, the cover is absolutely fantastic brilliant artwork um, black cat looking as um, I don't say as hot as ever because that would probably make me even more comic nerdy than ever but you know absolutely brilliant cover um, it says limited edition on here um, I believe you can still pick this variant up on eBay for 5 95 I think however it's from Albion Toys now I've had a lot of, I say a lot of issues, I've had two issues with Albion Toys, um, but it is the cheapest place to get it, so if you do want this, quickly jump on eBay and order one. Um, now as for the story itself, as I said before, you, you've got ones that are amazing, or superior, and you've got ones that are a flop. This one was really good, I would say, I wouldn't say it was amazing. Um, I would say it was a really, really good, a really good issue. Um, now, as you can tell from the front cover, Black Cat does appear in it. Only for, for a few pages, um, and it's it's quite funny when uh, Superior Spider-Man and Black Cat meet. Um, for all those that have read it, you'll understand what I mean. It, it, it was just awesome. I, I was like, wow, that's epic. Um, uh, like I say, as for the storyline, uh, there's a mysterious um, person in a coma that wakes up from a coma. My initial thoughts was, could it be Doctor Octopus? Did he did he somehow survive his death? Because <laughs> it does happen in the Marvel universe. Um, but I won't say who. I won't say if it is Doctor Oc or not. Um, but yeah, I was very interested. I'd like to hear or read other people's thoughts of who they thought this mysterious person is um, or was going to be when they was reading it. Um, you know, could it be 
I, no, I'm not going to say nothing too much because it's all going to be right or it's going to be wrong. Um, but yeah, the, the artwork in it is really good. Um, I don't think I've ever had a bad Superior Spider-Man where the artwork's been shite. Um, artwork's really good. And again, front cover. Now, the original cover is really nice as well. Um, and I'm a bit gutted I put it back in Forbidden Planet. But I've got to stop buying more than one copy of a comic. Because I'm only going to read it once. Once I've done that, I mean, look, it's sealed up. Bang, it's going to go in my box as soon as I've uh, done some things with it. Yeah, I've got plans for this and other videos as well. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts, not only on this issue, but on the whole Superior Spider-Man itself. Um, I can't be the only one out there. I mean, even now I'm still rooting for Peter to find his way back. Um, which may happen, you know, there's... A, you ask a lot of the guys in the YCC and they'll say, yeah, Peter will find his way back. Um, Doc Ock for me is, is... If they could do a Doc Ock Spider-Man and a Peter Parker Spider-Man separate books, I would buy them both. But you need you need humour with Spider-Man and Doc Ock just hasn't got it. Um, and I think that's why it's been a lot of hit, hit and miss with the, the comics that I read with, with Superior Spider-Man. Um, even in the Ultimate series, you know, you've still got that, that comedy with uh, Miles now. Um, friend of Chris. So yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts on this issue and the, the Superior run. Do you agree with me? Do you prefer the Ultimate Universe? I know Mahoney will probably say yes to the Superior Universe, or the Amazing Universe, or 616 I think they call it. Why is it called 616? Comment down below. I'm, I'm, I still class myself as a comic noob. I've only been collecting for, I think it's come up to a year now. Um, so yeah, I still I still class myself as a comic noob. Um, you know, the videos, I think 2nd of December, I'll have been doing My Butter One will be one year old. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs down if you don't like it. But as I always say, if you don't like it, please let me know why so I can improve. Unfortunately, I can't put no fancy paper or bloody wallpaper or anything like this because I've so do it on my iPad. Um, if you think the lighting's bad again, I can't do nothing with that. I've got the windows wide open or the curtains wide open. I turn the light on, it just looks like I'm a, an angel or something. Um, Yes, uh, comment if, like I was saying, my, a lot of my videos now, because YouTube's just totally buggered stuff up for me. Um, comment if you want a response, please do it on the post on the YCC and I will respond. I don't get emails now when I get uh, comments on my videos, you know, and I can't personally respond to them because when I click on my um, iPad, it takes me through to my YouTube app, and for all those who use videos on the iPad you will know that as soon as you click on that reply or you click on the video it kicks you straight into the YouTube app which you can't personally re uh, reply to people. If anyone's found a way around that again comment down below and I will reply to you. Yeah. Um, where was we? Comment. Subscribe. Yes. Um, in in the space of a week I've, I've gained five subscribers so thumbs up to you guys um, I don't know whether it's because Google's integrated with YouTube or or what I don't know I know my wife subscribed to me but it didn't come up on my subscribers list but she did have a Google account so you know perhaps that's what's happening now you know if you I know it's, it sounds strange but she did it on her phone and it, it just wasn't come up saying she subscribed I know a few other people that have done the same as well um, so I'm probably on a few more by now. Um, I was going to say, yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment, subscribe. All that's left to say, sorry guys, I'm, I'm really tired. Man flu's still here. Tosh is still coming on. Um, all that's left to say is, thwip it. With your black cat. Live long and prosper. And of course, it's a Marvember video, so...
Grow that tash.